la 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 This is boring. I had to paused on me. A very small percentage of up 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 epilepsy warning. Ha <laughs> ha! Dead space contains graphic violence, including explicit depictions of the ba 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 ba. Uh huh. EA. <laughs> oh look at that dead space! No. Or in English? Uh. It's like difficulty. Okay, uh, story. Isaac deals much more damage, takes much less damage, and his oxygen tank lasts much longer. Oxygen, oxygen. Isaac also heals automatically, and enemy grappling attacks are much easier to escape. No. Easy. Isaac deals more damage and takes less damage, and his oxygen tank lasts somewhat longer. Enemy grappling attacks are somewhat easier to escape. Medium. And Mies and Isaac both take baseline damage. Hard. Isaac takes much more damage. Enemies take much less damage. Impossible. Special challenge mode. Completing it will earn a unique suit and gameplay. This mode has the same damage settings as hard difficulty, but all saves are disabled. Only one save slot is available on one lo Oh boy. Dying prompts a full restart or continuing on hard. No, we're not, I'm not doing that yet. We're going on hard. I'll do this eventually. <laughs> yeah, hard. No. So content warning prior to scenes that could potentially be this. No! More settings. Controls. <coughs> Predetermined, uh, modern, faithful to this. <coughs> Going with the original Dead Space, because, uh, it, it's the first game, so, you know. Stomp, melee, sprint, aim, select weapons, interact, reload, use men, and ba 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 ba. Aiming. All of that good. <clears throat> All that good stuff. Gameplay. Again, we're on that hard mode. Nah, I'm holding it. Brightness. Okay. Adjust the brightness until the image on the left is barely visible. So essentially everything is as it should. Okay, that's on 50. Let's, uh. Oh, wow. Okay, so keep it on 50. Huh. <laughs> Motion blur, just keep it like that. Film grain, yes. No, we're not going for performance. We want I wanna see the graphics at their fullest for this playthrough. Deuce is visual and resolution visual I'm fine with thirty. Of course that doesn't mean I won't play sixty and you know on subsequent playthroughs, you know. Sixty is good. But for this one, I just want to stay. The audio. Oh 
We're going 3D, boys and girls. I know I'm just doing a bunch of stuff in the options, but come on, I gotta, I, I gotta set things up, you know. Okay, I would say that's it. USC uh, Kelly and en route to Aegis system. Da -da -ba 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 -ba. Okay, time to contact point. Two minutes. This is new stuff here. Even didn't start like this. Okay, now it's starting where to start. Oh, I wish I could talk to you. I'm sorry. Boy, is she old now. Six months apart with only vid calls. It's rough. Easy to say the wrong thing. I don't blame you. I'd listen to my girlfriend over him and reciting security protocols. Four one is four arm, Miss Daniels. She a lesbian now? Here we go. Nice clean re-entry. Imagine six months staring at that chunk of rock. An independent miner. That's paradise. Aegis 7 is one of the richest finds in CEC history. Some prospecting team set up for life. Now, where is she? There. Confirming visual contact with USG Ishimura. What a beauty. Biggest planet cracker in her class, you know. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it so dark? We should be able to see our running lights. New face. Yeah. Huh. I'll get us into hailing range. Someone's got to be waiting out for us. Just be careful on the approach. I'm not taking any chances with the CEC's pride and joy. No chances, huh? Is that why you were digging into my personnel <clears throat> files before we left? Did you track your file access? I'm a computer analyst. It comes with a job. I ran standard CEC background checks with standards. If you want to work in the big leagues, you have to play ball. <clears throat> Sir, we're in hailing range. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelly responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. <laughs> Ishimura, do you copy? Come in. This is the USG Kelly. You ever hear of communications blackout on the device? No. Come on. Someone picked up the damn phone. Sounds like their communication array is busted. Maybe a uh, broken encoder. Daniels and I can handle it for 48 hours, max. <clears throat> hey, gives you plenty of time to catch up with Nicole. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> Jen, Johnson, take us in. Gravity tethers engaged. Automated docking. Losing code. Oh! I'm losing control. Stabilizer, Isaac. Have I always read the manual? What the fuck's going on with flight control? That guidance system's a death trap. Better add it to your repair list. Jen, what's our damage? Comps are down. We lost poor booster. Got a fire in one of the stabilizers and 
Singularity core is a mess. It could be worse than other much. And let's get some help. Johnston, stay with the Kelly. We'll send a medic. Everyone else, with me. Things are already changing a bit. Okay. Follow the security team. We made it aboard Ishimura. But we need to find the flight crew. Johnston needs a medic. Where is everyone? Okay. I don't think she was in the original. The Zach Hammond from Oh my gosh, all of that dialogue. <sighs> A lot of X's here. Okay. Re background request. Per your request, here's what we can find on these specialists. They've sent for the repair mission. Isaac Clark. Isaac was born to, to uh, Paul and Octavia Clark on Earth in the eastern seaboard region of the American Republic. Paul Clark was an award-winning ship architect employed by the Galactic Union Merchant Marine Corps. His records show extended time off-world away from his family. When Isaac was born, Poole was given a temporary reassignment to an Earth-based... Uh... G-U-M-M-C? Gumx? Uh, something something ship production facility. During the four-year tour, Poole and Octavia raised Isaac together. When the tour was over, Poole shipped off for an extended off-world tour. Poole's influence on his son must have rubbed off. Records indicate Isaac pursued studies in mechanical and electrical engineering and achieved high honors. <clears throat> According to medical and psychiatric reports, Poole Clark's absence had a profound effect on Octavia. She suffered from depression and personal anguish until doctors encouraged her to find fulfillment by working with charitable organizations. It is believed that this is how she ended up coming in contact with the church. Oh no. The Church of Unitology. Of course! At first, her association with the church appeared to alleviate her mental condition. The cancellation of her therapy sessions corresponds with the local parish announcements of her initial initiation ceremony. Sorry, sorry. Ceremony. There are indications that she sold off much of the family estate to finance full membership in the church and the soul cleanse they require to enter the higher ranks. Isaac appears to have been selected to a prominent engineering school, but we surmise that he was unable to afford the tuition, as records show that he instead attended a lesser known school with the help of scholarships and financial assistance. After graduating with high honors, Isaac enlisted in the Merchant Marine. He quickly gained a reputation for his resourceful engineering solutions and after two years was promoted to a higher pro uh, profile position closer to the major shipping lanes. Shut up, people! Isaac's career stagnates at this point. This would coincide with psychiatric reports that his mother's mental health was deteriorating. 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 Uh -huh. I, always have a, I always have trouble trying to pronounce that and bank records show payments to a psychiatric facility for treatment. This seems to be where Isaac met a medical officer and neuro, uh, psychiatrist, uh, psychiatrist, psychi neuropsychiatrist called Nicole Brennan, and her name appears on Octavia's physician roster. Two of them ended up 
cohabitating until Brennan accepted a promotion and left to serve on the USG Ishimura. Oh boy. Poole's return from his, from his extended tour coincided with Octavia's. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, my mom's out here right now, so I gotta keep it muted. My dog's out here too. Hi, hello. Sorry about that. I had to wait for my mod to go outside. <laughs> Where were we? Oh, really? Made me go back? Okay. Where were we? Shut up. Pools return from his extended coincide uh, from an extended tour coincided with Octavia's release from the hospital. Whatever his assignment was, Poole's service records remain mysteriously classified by executive order. And unless he confided in Isaac, he took his secrets to the Oh, wow, he's, he's dead. He took his secrets to the grave. The next records we have are death notices for both Poole and Octavia. So their bodies, it's in the mother's head too. Their bodies were willed to the custody of the- Oh, no! Uh, Church of Unitology, along with the Clarks's entire estate, apparently on Octavia's wishes. Isaac's repeated petitions to have his parents' body, bodies returned seem to have been ignored, since the Church refuses any inquiries related to its members. Their cause of death is unknown. Overall, Isaac's is more than qualified to handle a job like the Ishimura. I talk politics over religion, though. Kendra Daniels. I couldn't find anything on her in the time you gave me, but Darleton swears by her. Apparently, she's on the mission with his recommendation. If she thinks she has what it takes, who am I to argue? So, yeah. Wait a minute. New map. Okay, now we can go. Oh my gosh. I am sorry, guys. This part is going to be uh, pretty long then. Because, you know. You know, this is so far, this is just taking a whole lot of time. So. I'm sorry for the slow start. I'm really sorry for the slow start. Shut up! Okay, I gotta read stuff. It's a control layout the way it should be. Okay, I guess, you know, because, uh, you know, beginning, uh, it's just forcing us to walk. You can't do any other actions until it allows us to. Take out the sign. USG Ichimura. It holds the record for the highest number of planet craft with 34 today and 
I'll eventually go and record the original version, but right now I'm doing the remake. <laughs> And there we go. Collect kinesis and stasis modules from acting chief engineer Jacob Temple. Location? <laughs> Employee not found. I can't read security. Same for the chief engineer. What is wrong with their comms? <sighs> okay, we can actually go through. Hello? Darkness. No. Light. Someone left in a hurry. Where's the security detail? Where's anybody? There's nothing logged. No duty roster, no power to the elevator. I'll have to read that afterwards. For God's sake. That security console is still working. Isaac, get a damage report. I'm done playing around. Yes. Let me look around just in case. Does anyone else smell that? Smell what? Like something died in the air vents. Oh. On the floor here. Seth? I I need that damage report. It's so odd hearing Isaac talk in the first game. Oh god, that smell. What have you got, Isaac? Shit. <clears throat> it's not just comms with the guidance system. Half the Ishimura's in the red. Engines, hull. Tramps. <laughs> Could do that kind of damage to a planet crack. Power. Ventilation's up. Power to the elevator should be now. Just anomaly detected. Quarantine activated. Another malfunction? No. The quarantine systems are all fine. Oh, wait. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hear it. Chen's about to get it. Get the Asian dude first. <laughs> it was not the black man, it's the Asian guy. <laughs> oh! Gotta run! Ha! <laughs> Here they come! Run, Isaac! Oh! Well, there we go! <laughs> oh, we got blood on us now. Can I break this? No? Okay, let's go and read some stuff. What were those things? They got Chen. I'm cut off from Daniels and Hammond. I need to get somewhere safe.
Background request. Again, read all that. Sponsored article to USG Ishimura. Disclaimer, this article is sponsored by CEC's print and publishing division and may not represent the views of Amazing Universe magazine. Imagine a world where basic resources like fuel, ore, metals, and ice are hard to come by. Imagine if humanity's needs were entirely dependent on the nearly extinct resources of Earth and the dwindling supplies of the colonies. Older readers don't need to imagine such a world. You lived it. Less than a century ago. Looking to the stars for additional resources was nothing new. But at the time, the only shock point capable ships were smaller vessels that could barely keep up with demand. Enter the Ishimura. Named after the celebrated astrophysicist and inventor of the shock point drive, Hideki Ishimura, the USG Ishimura, was the first of the massive planet cracker ships. Built in 2446, she has enjoyed a long and storied career. The Ishimura was the first vessel of her size to utilize the shock point drive for large scale commercial deep space expeditions. At her inception, the Ishimura was hailed as the savior of the colonies. She was created to mine and process asteroids and even small moons with remarkable efficiency. She was also the first ship capable of pioneering scan and catch technique for harvesting mineral-rich asteroids. Utilizing huge gravity tethers, the Ishimura could lock onto asteroids and pull them inside the ship's massive collection bays for quick and efficient smelting. At 62 years old, the Ishimura is still in remarkable shape. Her equipment has been upgraded over the years, and many of her interior spaces have been retrofitted to take advantage of current technolo technolo <laughs> technological advances. Despite so many long years of service, she remains the pride of the CEC fleet and is still the company's largest planet cracker. Whenever a vital deep space mining project requires skill, experience, and dedication... The Ishimura is ready to answer the call. It is ships like the Ishimura and the dedication of the men and women who grew her that built the Concordance Extraction Corporation into the trusted, dependable resource provider it is today. Some new stuff. Run! Run! Okay. See if we can find all these. Cut off their limbs. The plasma cutter. Now, what we're gonna do is only use the plasma cutter. Meaning all of our weapons other than this are completely useless. Rig manual. Standard issue CEC mining tool. Fires precision shots that slice through most of the materials. L2 is aim. L2... Oh. Darn it! <sighs> Melee. <laughs> Ooh, a lot faster. Okay, get those credits. They're in the ceiling. Ho 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 ho! Oh my gosh. Are you gonna... I didn't ask for that, you stupid, stupid, stupid game. Let me just stop you then. I got no ammo. I got no ammo. Okay, we gotta be careful. 
<laughs> man, this guy can sprint in this game now. Sorry, man. Gotta say, this game looks really good. Go that way, but I'm gonna go here. Hello. <laughs> oh. We can actually see what's over there now. The maintenance bay. Can I actually um check the map? Ah. Oh. Seems like we can actually see what's uh Wow, okay. That's cool. But yeah, it was really dark in the original there, so we didn't see like what was there. Other than uh, this, uh, the the necromorph that just rushes past. Not yet, not yet. I, I, I just want to make sure. Just want to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. Ah, oh, gosh. It has been so long since I played the original. So it's nice being able to play the remake. What? How am I playing the remake? I got PlayStation Plus for a month. So basically I got the, uh, the rest of this month and a little bit of next month to play this. Activate. What? Oh? Oh? Okay. Uh, no. I'm not playing the Callisto Protocol. I'm playing Dead Space. Health. A med pack has been added to the inventory. Use it to immediately restore health. Yeah? Hello. I'll fix it. You're both repair techs, so how do we do this? <laughs> There's a broken tram car blocking the tunnel. It's gridlocked the system, <clears throat> and the data board's burned out. I can't lift the lockdown or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. But it's all on Isaac's side of the quarantine. I'll handle it. Just make sure there's power to the repair systems. And Isaac? Yeah? I'm sure Nicole's okay. She's the doctor, right? She'll do the smart thing. Yeah. Yeah, she always does. Find somewhere safe. I'll be back soon. Alright. Get the tram running. Hammond thinks we'll find help on the bridge. But the tram's system's offline. Once I make some repairs, I can call a tram. Replace damaged tram. A broken tram car is blocking the whole system. Fortunately, it made it to tram repair, but I need to get it off the tracks. Find the data board. Daniel's, uh, Daniel's 
says the data board in the tram control is fried. I need to find a replacement, but something's not right. Those boards don't burn out by accident. Meaning it was destroyed purposefully. Okay. I can go that way, but I want to check here. Okay. All right, let's look around. Uh, of course, there's a save right there. And give me that money. And that money's. Oh. Oh, okay, I forgot. That's how you reload. Oh, I'm stupid. Square is to heal. Okay, we go there, tram tunnel. Uh huh. Gotta go down there. Hello! That's new, I think. Oh my gosh, I gotta get used to playing this. Oh, 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 oh! Security clearance, a level one required. Security clearance required. Messing around with the uh, headphones real quick. Stasis. Reminder. An engine in stasis is a safe engine. <laughs> we need more people here. Yeah, you give me that. Awesome. Okay, stasis will slow down enemies and fast moving objects. Hold L2 to aim and then press square to use stasis. Yeah, 